tournament. We're in week six. Hi, I'm Nick Banjo along with Doug Martin. And we're at the Super Bowl lanes in Earl Anger, Kentucky. And, Doug, uh, what do you know about this place? <laughs> Funny you should ask. Uh, I know quite a bit about it, of course. Um, we built the place in 74, and I've been operating it since then. So uh, spent uh, quite a bit of my life in this building, so I know a lot about it. You know, one thing, Doug, it's awfully encouraging is uh, it's no secret that the weather's been super lately. But once again, week after week uh, in this tournament, uh, bowlers come out in flocks to roll to try to make the tube. Yes, uh, our entries have uh, still been very good, even with this unseasonably uh, 85, 90 degree weather. Uh, the people are still coming out and bowling in this thing. So once again, I think that's a tribute to this tournament and the format and so forth. So uh, we're real excited about it. Well, it's good to see you're paying the bills because it's nice and cool in here. We'll be back with some Northern Kentucky BPA Merit Tournament action right after this. Here we are, week six, Northern Kentucky BPA Marriott Tournament. You're looking at Mary Lyons. We're on the pair of seven and eight at the Super Bowl in Erlanger. She leaves the nine pin opening up, uh, Nick. Pulled a little bit, went to the beak, and leaves the nine pin. Mary Lyons, 44 years of age from Florence. She lives over on Center Park Drive. Uh, she's married, has three children, Teresa, Timothy, and Jill. And she goes for the nine pin, and she's got it. You saw there, Nick, she's a 32 handicap. Now here's Kathy Baker, our only old pro on the show today, Doug. We have, a, again, a lot of new faces. Kathy Baker's the only returning uh, celebrity we've had. Yeah, she's our only veteran. And uh, doesn't quite get it up the hill. Leaves the one, two. Kathy's 23 years of age from over in Cold Springs. She lives uh, on Winter Lane. She's married, has two boys, Bear and Dustin. And her husband, Tony's here. Kathy for the conversion. One, two. She's got it. So both ladies, Douglas, uh, you know, we've been doing this program uh, for three years now, and there are some people who really get here and they're nervous. I have not met two people more nervous than Kathy and Mary. <laughs> yeah, Kathy, being a veteran, I uh, would think she wouldn't be quite as nervous, but it's it's still a little nerve-wracking out here in front of the lights. Kathy crosses over. Got a Brooklyn out of it. Maybe that'll help calm some nerves. Yeah, that will. Now here's Mary Lyons. In qualifying, Mary rolled a 198, 194, and a 177 for 569 scratch plus handicap for 665. Mary, it's in the area. There it is. Mark it down, baby. Came a little bit light with that one, Nick. Just got a piece of the head pin and fortunately got him out of there. It does help get rid of some of those TV jitters to get that first strike under your belt. What kind of balls is Mary playing with, Doug? I know Mary. you're out scouting out all the balls. <laughs> Mary's got a uh, Columbia yellow dot and comes in just a little bit high. Almost had a 7-10 there. Got the, got the 10 out. Leaves a 7. Yeah, most of the bowlers today are using urethane balls, but uh, Mary is using a plastic ball. Um, the Columbia Yellow Dye, as we said. 14 pound. She goes cross lane for the seven, but didn't quite get it across the lane. Leaves a seven. I think she knew that. Once she got it go. Now we're back to Kathy's. Kathy's coming off a strike. Kathy uses a four-step approach. Kathy's just gets a piece of the head pin, but not enough. Leaves a two, four, five. Kathy in qualifying rolled a 168, 173, and 193 for a 534 scratch, plus handicap for a 651. As we said, Kathy's the only veteran on the tube. Uh, she was on week nine. Uh, 1984, she finished at third place over at Glenn Schmitz, and this year uh, she was in, over at Cherokee and finished in third place. She's dead on it, Nick. Picks it up. 
Kathy, you're using a urethane ball, an Ebonite Mag 12, and uh, it's 14 pounds. She uses a fingertip grip. Doug, you make it sound like it's a beauty contest. <laughs> Kathy's using an urethane, urethane, Ebonite Mag 12, and she enjoys singing and dancing. <laughs> we have a talent contest there for the show. There's Kathy. She's kind of pulls at Brooklyn. Right in the one, two. I was going to say, she kind of staggered a little bit to the right at the line. I thought she might fall over. <laughs> well, she didn't fall over, but the pin sure did. Good one. Here's Mary trying to regroup. And Mary comes a little bit light, leaves the two, four, five. Mary kind of hung up on that ball a little bit. It looked like she had a little problem getting it off her hand. Consequently, didn't get the roll on it, didn't get it up the hill. We are in Erlanger at the Super Bowl for match one of the women's. Week and six. And she pulls a little bit too far left, leaves the two and the five. Now it's time to just to kick back and take a deep breath, Douglas. Yeah, time to regroup here. Mary uses a five-step approach. Starts with her left foot. Watch out. And comes right on the beak again. Leaves the 10 pin, breaks up the split. Doug, there's one thing I, I want you to look at, oh, Mary. She's stopping, really, about a foot before the line. Yeah, uh, she is. She's back a little bit further than you should be, but uh, of course, uh, bowling is an individual game. It's whatever works for you is, uh, and you feel comfortable with is what you should do. But the recommended uh, place to finish up on the approach is about three or four inches behind the line. She uses the full approach. And Hang on. Just barely missed it. Ball fell off in the channel there about a foot before it hit the pin. Well, we got a little jitters, but we're halfway through our first match of the women's uh, here at the Super Bowl in Erlanger. And we will be back with more right after this. We are on the Northern Kentucky Programming Network. This is Nick Benz along with Doug Martin and also Kathy Baker and Mary... Mary Lyons. Here we see Kathy kind of dropped it at the line that time. Didn't get it back. Leaves the one, two, nine. Pick this up by uh, basically throwing your strike ball, Nick, hitting the head pin on the right side and the ball carry into the into the nine pin. Now Kathy, uh, she's a housewife. She enjoys drawing arts, crafts, sewing. And she likes being involved with her son, Bear. Uh, school activities. Yeah, she's perfect with that one. <laughs> we got a lot of oohers and ahs in the crowd today. <laughs> yeah, we sure do. Little story behind that. Every time uh, we visit a place, you know, we always uh, tell the people in the crowd, say, hey, you know, uh, cheer for your bowlers. Uh, and then Maureen here from the Super Bowl said, you know, get behind them and give them some oohs and ahs. And, People were certainly having fun with it, going, ooh, ah. And that was uh, definitely an ooh. Uh, Kathy doesn't get it back again. Leaves five of them, leaves the one, two, four, seven, and nine. Right now, Kathy's in pretty comfortable position. Grab her plus, hmm, let's add here, 37. Kathy, your best finish on the program has been third, and watch out. Next, she had it in the in the right area, but didn't catch enough of the head pin. Sent the head pin to the right of the nine pin. The winner of this match will move on to meet our high qualifier of the week, Sandy Crouch. And here's Mary. She jumps up to the line. Look at this. With confidence. Brookline. She got it in the one-two that time. Just a little bit too light to carry the nine out. I tell you, Doug, each week uh, we get to, to take a look at the fine shirts we're looking at. And uh, where do they come from? Even though I know, but I'll throw it to you anyway. <laughs> well, my old buddy, Jim Chastang from Howe Manufacturing in 
Cincinnati. Right. And she picks up the nine. Uh, from Howe Manufacturing Cincinnati uh, supplies us with these shirts, and uh, they really look really look great. Plus, it helps us tell who's who here if we forget. It's awful early in the morning to remember all these things. It's early for you, Doug. Even earlier this morning, we I lost know. another hour of sleep last night. When you get in at 7 and have to be here at 9, you, it is kind of early. It makes it tough, very definitely. That's, that's why I get home bright and early. <laughs> Mary's getting uh, closer to her target there. And she comes just a little bit high in the 1-3, leaves the 6-pin. Now, now, Mary, um, she works over the General Nutrition Center over to Florence Mall. She's a sales associate. She goes cross lane for the 6. She's dead on it. She's starting to come back here and even this match up a little bit. There we see it, 143 in the 6 for Kathy. Over there over there on the scoreboard, let's see who we got. guess that's Marlene Jelnick. Get a little plug for Marlene. Kathy came uh, on the nose with that one, leaves a 310. Little baby split. Little baby split action there. Enough to make you cry. <laughs> She's got to go cross lane for this, just like shooting a six pin, which would be in between the three and the ten. Fit the ball up between the between the two of them. We see a shot or four step approach, and not quite enough far enough to the right. Picks up the three and leaves the ten. The gap is starting to close a little bit, and we have uh, plenty of paper left, Doug. Yeah, we're now into the eighth frame. Got three frames left. And Kathy's with two opens now, has a 152 in the seventh. Mary has a potential 138 in the seventh. So we got a 14 pin difference here, whereas before we had a 35 pin difference. Let's see Kathy regroup. There it is. Oh, that was definitely another ooh. She finally, finally hit her target, got it in the pocket. It's just a little bit light. Well, Ka Kathy does not look too terribly happy right now. No, I'm sure she's not. I uh, don't know if any bowler would be happy with the 810. The split's almost impossible to make. And she f puts it right in between them, leaves both of them. So Kathy has a 160 in the eighth now. And Mary is charging back. Yes, she is. She was down 37. That's determined there, doesn't she? Pulls at Brooklyn in the one two. Just a little bit too heavy on the head pin. Leaves a six. With a mark here, she could cut it to five with two frames to go. Could be one of the all time comebacks. Yeah, this is. Let's see her going cross lane. Pull the six. She's dead on it. I think she's got her uh, TV jitters out of the way here now. And she's ready to roll. She's minus five. We're in the ninth. She's standing about the 18th board. Five steps. On the beak again. She's trying to shoot about the uh, second arrow or the the tenth board, and she hit about the twelfth of that one. Went to the beak, leaves a three six ten. She really needs this one to keep the pressure on yes. Kathy. And she pulls a little bit too far to the left, just picks the three off. Three goes in front of the six and the ten, leaving both of them. That gives Kathy a good old breathing room. See what a mark here could really put the match away. Boy, she really yanked that one, Nick. Doesn't even hit the head pin, leaves the one, three, six, nine. Tough little spare. 
But you shoot it like a, like a strike ball. You know what I just realized, Doug? We're the only bowling program on the air. The pros are done. That that little show they have over in Cincinnati is over. Uh, we're the only, we're only we're the only bowling program on the air right now. She picks it up. Perfect shot on that. That was a pressure shot. She needed that one. I guess That's true, Nick. Uh, everybody else is done, and we're the old troopers here. We're still still going strong. Here we see it. Dead on it, right in the pocket. Boy, picks him up. We are using lane seven and eight here at the Super Bowl. Lucky lane seven. Kathy needs it to be lucky for her here in the tenth frame. She yanked it again, but she did get it in the Brooklyn pocket a little bit light. Leaves the five pin. The mark here in the match will be over. We got a 17 pin difference right now. She would have to, to miss this, and Mary would have to double to have a chance. Nobody misses the five pin. I said that last week, and somebody missed it. It's proved me wrong. Well, Doug, I, I hate to report this to you, but uh, your scorecard's wrong. Again? Again. <laughs> Mine's right. We have a 19 pin difference, and Kathy could shut her out right here. There it is. Mark, oh. it down, baby. Right there. Kicks the four out. Good way to end up the match. So Kathy Baker, that's right, goes out with a 199. The best American do is a 190. Let's watch it again. The, the closing of victorious moments. Yeah, that was a crowd pleaser. Came in a little bit high. Almost left a split. Kicks them both out. <coughs> Two more strikes here. She could wind up with a 190. A good game, but it's going to be nine pins short. On the nose, leaves a 310. So, so Kathy Baker is going to move on to meet Sandy Crouch in the finals. Oh, almost came in the side door there with that one. So it's official. Kathy Baker, 199 to Mary Lyons, 179. Kathy will move on to meet Sandy Crouch in the finals here at the Super Bowl in week six of the Northern Kentucky BPA Mayor Tournament. We'll be back with that action right after this word from one of our fine sponsors, Value City Furniture and the Latonia Plaza in Latonia, KY. Stay tuned.